Hello everyone and welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. Today we have another geotechnical engineering problem. We're going to be looking at ultimate bearing capacity in this video. If you want a quick guide, the five steps to solving any FE exam problem, we have that guide for 100% free. Just go to the description box, tell us where to send it, and we can get you that guide. Now let's get into this problem. Find the ultimate bearing capacity, kilonewtons per meter squared, of the footing of the saturated soil given the following information. N sub C is 20, M sub Q is 12, and so gamma is going to be uh, 5, the base of the footing is 5 meters, the depth of the footing is 6 meters, C equals 30 kilopascals, and then the gamma, that stands for unit weight, is 45 kilonewtons per meters cubed. So given this information, we're going to be using this Q ultimate equation here. So Q ultimate equals, well first we have C, we found the C value is 30 and, kil and kilopascals is just kilonewtons per meter squared, so that fits nicely with our problem. N sub C is 20, plus the next part is Y gamma, and this is where a lot of people are going to get tripped up, y, uh, or, or gamma prime, I should say. Gamma prime is going to be the unit weight of the soil, and since it's saturated, now we have water and poor water pressure involved, so we're, just, we're going to need to subtract that unit weight of water. So 45 minus 9.81 is what you're going to want to use for that gamma prime value. So make sure you understand that and you know when to use it. If it was a dry soil sample, water wasn't involved, you would just use that standard unit weight. Now M sub Q is 12 plus 0.5 times the same thing, 45 minus 9.81 times the base of the footing, 5 meters. And then we're finally going to multiply that by N sub gamma which is five. So we have our equation set up now. I'm just going to copy it down here to find the answer. I would suggest using your calculator that you're gonna use on the test. And we get 3,573.555 kilonewtons per meter squared. It looks like D is the closest answer and we're gonna go with that. So that's how to solve for ultimate bearing capacity. Like I said, they're gonna give you most values. They might give you a table where you need to find N sub C, N sub gamma, N sub Q based on the base of the footing and depth of the footing, or they might give you those values up front. But make sure with gamma that you know whether it's a dry or saturated soil situation so you know when to subtract that 9.81 from the unit weight value. Anyways, if you have any questions on these problems or future problems you'd like to see, leave it in a comment down below, and we'll see you guys next time.